I was born in Afghanistan. As you know, Afghanistan was the most dangerous countries to live in. You have from suicide bombers to American troops around you, and it's very dangerous. And one of the most two experiences which I've had in Afghanistan is when, first of all, when um, my uncle got dragged out of his pharmacy shop and knifed to death. And the other time, when they tried coming to my house and tried raping my sister, but, and luckily my grandfather, he stopped them. And in that, uh, in that process, he got killed as well. And after math of that act, my grandmother, she passed away soon after. My dad decided that it wasn't safe, in us, safe for us to live there. He sold his shop, he <coughs> sold his cars, he sold his houses, wherever we had our gold, wherever. And we made our way to UK. And UK is one of the most safest countries to live in. So first, when I went to my primary school, which was, um, which was in Liverpool, I had people coming, uh, coming and surrounding me and they looked at me as if I was an alien from another planet. And they did not know anything about Sikhism. First of all, the atmos atmosphere was new, the people were new, and most importantly, the language was new. I wasn't able to speak English by then. And then gradually moving on, eight years of living in UK, I learned English. I learned what people wore. As in Afghanistan, you will see people wearing um, white sheets around them, and that was it. And here, as you know, dressing us smartly, different dress codes. And gradually living in UK, I understood that. And today, I have actually got a personal blog called Karenji, K-A-R-E-N-J-W-E, where I actually tell other people that we are not different from anyone. We're humans. We have two eyes. We have one nose. We have one mouth. We're all equal. There's no difference between you and me. And you might be thinking, why am I telling you all this? And you might be thinking, what is that to do with me? But if you think about it, there's people in Afghanistan, Pakistan, India who are living in poverty. They don't have food. They don't have clean water. They don't have proper shelters to live in. And we are so lucky that in UK, and we have all of that. We have proper food. We have good shelters to live in. And we are so lucky. And I want everyone to appreciate that. Whereas in our community, we are too judgmental. We, we don't want to help people who, who need help. And we just turn our backs away from each other. We are too selfish sometimes. And tomorrow or soon after, I'm going to have my own kids. You all are going to have your own kids. And you don't want to live in a society where people are selfish. We need to move on. We need to help each other. If we don't help each other, who will? Use what you have, do what you can do to help and make this environment better for you and me. Have this community a better place for all of us. Before becoming Christians, before becoming Sikh, before becoming anyone, let's just become human first. Thank you.